How's it going, guys? Sick reactor here. All right, guys, I wanted to talk to you about something. In Detroit, the police are not the best. You know, let's be honest. The police officers there are not the best. But if you were into an emergency and you need someone to come and save your day and you can't call the police because, like I said, they're not doing their best job, who would you call? Well, guys, no, don't look further. But call the Detroit Threat Management Center. Those guys will save your life in an instant. And they will increase your survivability by like the 100th million mark. I'm talking, these guys will come up with techniques that are out of the ordinary. And I wanted to react them with me because this is a very, very serious, serious thing to talk about. And we need to talk, we need to see this, and I want you guys to learn to in increase your survivability by a thousand. But without any further ado, let's get into the video. Come on! Come on! These screams don't move, yet the guys behind them. Don't move! Don't move! Okay. Detroit Urban Spinal Training. Okay, guys. So, first of all, this guy has the instinct and the reaction of a, of a freaking cheetah. Like, literally. Like, if him and Flash were to have a fucking reaction contest, this guy would win 100 million times in a row. Right now, we're going to demonstrate for you how to lock someone's wrist and arm if they're pressing you, pushing you back. In this case, as soon as he hits, pushing forward, pressing me, I'm going to take my hands here. One, that's here, into the base of the hand. Two, right here, pressing on this, uh, reinforcing it. And what we're going to do is lean forward, and there's your lock. And all this is, is, sir, can you stand up? No. Yeah. He can't stand up, right? But remember, guys, we have not just one hand. So this good hand's getting attacked, right? He's getting pinned down to the ground, but whoops. I have this hand. I'm gonna, gonna Johnny, Johnny Cage is fucking balls. Like, literally, he, like, like, people forget about this, this hand. He get locked down with one hand. Two, he uses two hands to lock down one hand, right? This hand, what's he gonna do with this hand? Oh crap, I forgot, oh, I forgot about the other hand. No! Family right in your balls, bro. Come on, bro. This is what I'm saying, bro. Your, your survivability is gonna go up to a thousand. Guarantee it. All right, can you explain what you felt? Uh, physical containment and nerve. Um, I just wanted to comply. Yep. And what we have is a Z-lock. So that lock is here. You can use your hands or you can use your body. And this intelligent option increases your survivability. Oh. Guys, if you ever seen a fight, they're not going to fight like real bitches. I'm talking about throwing hands. Literally, you're going to throw hands. They're going to be like, mm. yep. Mm. Mm. Who the fuck fights like this? Like they're hugging each other, they're not hugging each other. Nowadays, no one hugs each other. They throw fists. They act, they throw fists. Uh, uh, uh. Cat. Uh, uh, uh. Who hugs? But without any further, let's see how, how this technique will save your life. Let's, let's just look, look, look at this. So I'm training, we're gonna share with you some of the ways that we have used to break apart violent aggressors who do not want to back away. In this case, yeah. either one of them is a victim. Yeah, let's hug. They're let's both hug. pressing. Let's hug. They come in, our hands go here, right to the face, right to the nose, or to the eye. Oh. Down. Pinch your nose, bro. Pinch your nose and put your put your fingers in the eyes. And pull them back. Like they're so smart. Until they get up and beat your ass for that. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bro? 
So you grab them by the nose and pitch them in their eyes and drag them back. They fall down like they did in the video, right? And guess what? They're gonna hug you now. They're gonna hug you because they're gonna they're gonna hug you now. Right? Stupid. This is an intelligent option that will help you create safety for you and your family. Let me give you another survivability tip. If you see two people fight, either walk away. Yes, walk away. You have no reason to get involved whatsoever. It talks about saving your life, not the others. What? I guess I walk away. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you how you can use Your this dildo. keychain that we sell to defend your life in a very simple way. So, in the event they grab you, you can take the point of it right here to the bones of the hand. Very painful. So you, you can if take you grab the finger like this. If you if you grab a dildo and put it in half, yeah. I mean that's painful. I mean, your, your dick. Like imagine all the fucking pussy juice that been into the hand. Liberate. You can also stab somebody with your dildo. Point of it and go here to the arm. Very okay. painful. You can also use the blunt side here on the hand as well. Very okay. painful. Show that one again. Right here. Very painful. If the person's walking in your space, you can actually take the front of it, go right into the chest, back them off using the point or the blunt side. Take your hand here and press it right on the nose. If they grab you, bear hug, you can actually take it. You don't have to use the point. You can actually use the side of it. Someone's going to hug you to kill you. Here at the top, and it will back them off of you. If they're giving your family or friends a hard time and aggressing on them, you take your take your uh, keychain, go right here to the shoulder, pull it out. Or stab them in the Just head, do. like that. Stab them in the head. Advice can help protect you and your family. Neither do Detroit Urban Spinal Training. Oh, my gosh. Uh, everyone who's been in a school shooting can tell you that this doesn't work. That's what I'm going to say. If the gunman has you like that, Right? He has you like that. Why doesn't he just shoot you right there? Everyone who has an assault rifle isn't there to rob you. They're there to kill you. They have no intention of taking your money or anything like that. They're there to see you dead on the floor. There is no way in earth Unless in unless unless it's a man an Al Qaeda uh, an Al Qaeda soldier, there is no way in your life you're gonna be pointed at gunpoint with an assault rifle. Ask any per ask any ask any victim of a school shooting. Ask them that. Just ask. Them. Oh wait, you can't because they're dead. Share with you today is a way to increase your survivability if someone takes you hostage. If someone has a rifle to your back, here's something that can help you. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to push into them and get your back out of the way. Your hand comes down, wraps around the weapon, fingers go into the eyes, pushing the eyes and the face back, gripping downward. This locks the spinal cord, causing the vertical plane to be broken, which takes them down to the ground. Securing the weapon here, increase your survivability. If your neck is grabbed from the rear, Clasp your hands, turn, and the wrists are hyper Guys, yeah. Someone will never grab you like this. They'll grab you from right here. And if you want to escape that, Houdini dance. Houdini dance. I'm going to get out of every single choke code my daddy gives me with this fucking technique. Thank you so much, Detroit manager, threat management. I swear to God, you saved my life. Now my dad ain't going to choke me no more. Oh, you thought you were going to choke me? Oh, yeah? They search you for weapons, how they're going to take Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're going to share with you right now what to do 
if a striker fired weapon is pinning against your chest against the wall and a criminal is holding you at bay and the reason why they're doing this is because this is how they search you for weapons how they're going to take things from you also how they're going to harm you uh, physically keep you from running or pulling out a weapon is by getting close and pinning you to a wall or to a car in this case all right guys so this is a real situation uh, a robber will have you on the wall either with a knife or a gun right so let's see the brilliant way this guy is going to get out of this situation because i could think of a, like a million situations right now give them your money give them your wallet give them your phone don't do anything stupid like those are obvious obvious reasons but let's see the brilliant way this guy's gonna get out of this right let's just let's just look at this fire so there's no hammer in the back so the first thing we're gonna do since we can't move out of the way we can't mm -hmm. move offline and if I were to try to move this, as soon as he saw my oh, hand yeah. move, he's going to fire. So we have to make this weapon not fire. And to give an example of the human reaction time, when he sees me move, he's going to fire. So the reason why it didn't move, the slide didn't slide, is okay. because I inhibited it. By okay. The way he stopped it, okay, true. But let's just, let's just take a moment. He, he literally exposed this over this video. He saw... At the moment the, the robber sees you, he'll shoot, right? He did this, he shot. What's the difference between this and... I stopped the, I stopped the thing, right? I'm going to do some research right now. Fast is a human react, re, reaction. Let's just do it like that, so let's see. A typical reaction time for a human is about 250 milliseconds, meaning that it will take you about a quarter of a second after you see something to physically react to it. So basically, when you move, so when you're going to do, so basically it took, on average, a person to do this, it'll take them a quarter of a second. So basically 250 milliseconds, right? So let's see how fast is a finger to trigger. The speed of these actions depend on several factors but it's a good rule of thumb that it happens about 20 milliseconds or 0 0.2 seconds sometimes. So it takes 250 milliseconds to get your hand to the gun. So when your hands are like this, because remember, you're being threatened. So your hands are like this, on side to side, to get your hands to the gun takes 250 milliseconds which is basically a quarter of a second versus trigger finger to trigger it takes 0 0.02 milliseconds this guy's claiming to save to increase your survivability but it's actually in the end it's gonna doom you it's gonna send you it's gonna help you meet god that's what it's, it's what it's gonna do essentially Short Nervous Bible Training, we're going to do a gun disarm with another non-believer. How are your name, sir? Where are you from? So, I'm going to pay you guys, I'm going to bet all the money I have in my bank account. He is not, he, he is a non-believer and he's a fucking actor, I swear to God. Like, literally, I bet you all the money in my bank account. The officer said, yo, bro, listen. I want you to be as retarded as you can fucking be. Like, be so fucking, be so fucking dumb that you don't pull the trigger, okay? So point the gun at me, act like you're going to kill me. I'm going to put the hand in the gun and don't pull the trigger, okay? Make me look like the hero, please. Thank you, okay? I'm going to pull the trigger, okay? Thank you, okay? Okay. So, what do we learn today? Do stupid stuff to increase your survivability. On a real note, guys, I just don't believe anything what this guy says. I really don't. And he's literally releasing fake content. Basically stating that it will improve your survivability 
if you're ever in a situation in which a robber is, has you at gunpoint, knife point, or anything like that, the best way is to fucking do what he says. Give him the money, give him the phone, give him the fucking ruby, give him everything. And yeah, without that, with all that out of the way, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you guys never get robbed. And uh, yeah.